Hello everybody, Mike from Star Structure Telescopes and today we're going to do a quick walk around of this 25.6 inch f3.7 binocular telescope. Uh, this was my first attempt at building a binocular telescope. I uh, really didn't uh, know much about them or uh, anything specifically they needed. Did a little research on them and uh, honestly didn't find a whole lot. I kind of knew that my horizon design would adapt well, or at least I thought it would. So essentially, um, the bottom of the scope is just that. It's two 25.6 inch scopes that were split right in the middle. I ended up using a single altitude bearing in the middle, which worked out great to drive the scope so it was even. It is driven by ServoCat GoTo system. Uh, the rocker, the grant, the, as you can see, the center of the rocker comes out. So what we did was we made the ground board to a 30-inch size to give more stability. And then essentially the ends are the same size that a 25.6 would be. You can see there the lifting A-frames that we have. This is an observatory grade, which means it's going to be permanently mounted. So the entire... Uh, ground board, rocker box, mirror boxes, etc. was all steel, not aluminum. Uh, you could see both sides have these A-frames, which allows me to essentially lift the entire mirror box off of the rocker to get the movement roller bearing-like. The ground board uh, still uses Teflon, but it has a center lifting pin. Uh, a little hard to explain, but uh, again, when adjusted correctly, the scope will spin like it's on roller bearings. So the bottom end, as I said, is just basically 225 split in the middle and put together. Um, I have the podium here. It does use a Nexus DSC supplied by from Astro Systems. I'm sorry, Astro Devices. ServoCat comes from ServoCat, Gary Myers. And uh, the mirrors, uh, from what I understand, the blanks were donated to the client and they were figured by Lockwood Optics. Uh, the upper tube of the scope is really everything that makes it a binocular. Uh, it does have two rotating rings, so this means the entire rings, spider, secondary rotate with each of the custom made focusing tubes. Uh, we're using inch and a quarter feather touches. Uh, there are actually built-in paracores in there, uh, custom made. Uh, big thanks to Wayne at Starlight Instruments for assisting me on that one. Uh, they have uh, seven inch secondaries and 1.83 inch tertiaries, which see if I can get you a shot in there. Looking out the end. Uh, what makes this scope really unique is that we have wireless control of the IPD. You can see here they'll open and close. They're closing right there and then I can go the other way and open them up. So that's pretty neat, makes it really nice to adjust. You can see up here, that's where the motor and electronics are housed. The entire front ring assembly, uh, there's eight of these bearings around the perimeter. You can see in where the area where the paint is missing, that's the actual amount of movement. Uh, I've been able to achieve uh, 54 millimeters all the way up to beyond 75. So 54 would be the minimum. So all the eyepiece barrels and all of that, you know, would be a uh, two inch max to maintain the smallest possible IPD. Um, the front end assembly, which would consist of this frame that everything sits on, the two ring secondaries, weighs approximately 75 pounds. So it uh, took quite a bit of... Uh, <laughs> balance weight you can see the four balance weights going across the back they are removable so um, we could take it off during transport 
Um, another feature that this scope has, which really comes in handy with a binocular, is it has wireless control of collimation. I'm cl I have a clicker in my hand and I can move uh, all the collimation knobs wirelessly while in the eyepiece for collimation. It's fantastic. So those four, these doors here are service doors that we can open up to access the gears. If anything ever goes wrong, it can go back to manual collimation. Um, we had it out last night, uh, did some first light work with it, and just merged the images really clean, really fast. Um, it's aligned really well. The scope is really straight, and that uh, really, I think, is what makes the difference in a binocular telescope. So uh, I was really pleased with uh, the views last night. Uh, the globs really shine in one of these binocular scopes showing the 3D effect. So um, just really happy with it. Anyway, thought it'd be nice to give a walk around. And uh, it's actually on the, the newly poured uh, deck in my backyard here. This was done for our good friend Carl Wright. In his memory it's called the call right observation deck anyway hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot